This video is about making a sidebar with a drop-down in Webflow. Uh, Nelson made a video of it in Pixel Geek, and uh, he showed it uh, another way. I was trying to do this with Webflow elements only, and I get this. So it's a fully functioning sidebar with a drop-down menu in it, uh, with no extra code. Only Webflow elements. Uh, it's a bit, little bit of a strange place for this uh, sidebar because uh, when I show you the ins and outs of it, then I have to go here in the side, and otherwise this will be hidden behind this uh, black uh, behind the navigator. So, okay, okay. Add a menu to this sidebar menu. Zip. Uh, navbar. Okay, and in this navbar, we add some drop downs. One and another one. Two. Okay, go back in the navigator, choose the container, and make the container flex, vertical, and align it if you want to. The next step is to go to the menu, make this flex to vertical, and now you get a complete horizontal menu for your sidebars. Uh, these buttons are styled by default by Webflow, and there are some very strange uh, numbers here, but you can set them to zero, and then they will line in very nicely this one and this one and when you give them a class then you don't have to do them one by one you can do them all uh, the same okay let's test this a little bit I forgot because the drop down lists are made absolute and that's logical when you have a uh, horizontal uh, drop down, otherwise, it would push the content of the side down, and that's not what you want if it's horizontal. But when it's vertical, you absolutely want this to not to happen, so set it to relative. And let's see, I had two of these, yes, this one also make it a relative. And now when we look at it, you see it's working fine. Uh, you can make this drop down a little bit more attractive by using some attributions. And there are other videos on uh, YouTube where you can see how you can achieve this. So this is a completely homemade Webflow menu without any code whatsoever. Okay, that's it for this time. Bye.